we are talking about my story must change. That's the topic. And the basis of every story to change comes from the place of the cross. Once you have a revelation of the cross, once you have the understanding of what Jesus has done on the cross, you have the check you can use to go and cash, to go and make a claim of the goods that are stored in for you. Somebody say amen. Once you have a revelation of the cross, the cross is the beginning point. And when Jesus disarmed the principalities, the rulers, all those forces, when they were disarmed, they are only specific things that rearm them. One of them is sin, ultimately. You know, what, 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 when you see Colossians 3 talking about disarming, Jesus is the one that disarmed. There is something that can rearm those forces, bring them back into your life, and that is sin. And so once you deal with, because the cross deals with the issue of reconciliation between God and man. The cross deals with the issue of sin. The cross deals with the issue of repentance. The cross deals with the issue of coming back to the place. When Adam gave way, he sold his mind to the devil, what happened is that he went into a transaction that God had not sanctioned. And that transaction is the basis upon which Satan now writes to bring oppression, to, to make people's stories remain the same, to make stories that would have been changed out of the blues to remain the same. And the cross brought the dominion that Adam lost. When Adam sold out, the dominion he had, he lost it. And then Jesus, the second Adam, came to recover that dominion. When he said, all oh, authority, help me and tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, all oh, authority. You know, I, 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 I was on an overnight last Friday. And uh, is there anyone who was in that overnight, St. Francis Chapel? Oh, you were there. And I was telling the people, I said, look, in the overnight where I am preaching, nobody sleeps. Because I'm going to make you to tap your neighbor and, and, and say something to them. So you, you don't have an opportunity to even, you know, blink. But the point I'm bringing is here. All the authority Jesus was given... When he ascended unto heaven, he now sat at the right hand. When he sat there, he took a position of an intercessor, the high priest. And now, the authority, the things he was doing here, he now delegated to you and me. Yeah. Lift up your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, because of the blood, I am here to rule over forces of darkness and the principalities. So that first day when Jesus arose, your story changed that day, my friend. Your story changed that day. But the problem is you don't know. If you don't know that they have edited your article, I used to write stories, post them to the news editors, they, they, you know, they, put, they printed a part of the story, they left out some other things, and if you don't know, you cannot, you will think that the same way you sent it is the same way it will appear. The knowledge of a particular thing, that's why the unlocking that needs to happen as we bring repentance, as we come to God in this season is very important. Because yesterday, if you are here, Reverend Christian made a statement, you cannot, you cannot see a vision if you are not in the presence of God, my friend. It's not possible. So the story of every man changed that place. What remains, this man's knowledge needs to be opened up. The man doesn't know that he has inheritance, so he is living in a Katanga. He has a small house there. Yet his father that died willed his inheritance, and they are in Kololo here. 
That's what it means. The day you will discover, the lawyers are now going to tell you, to say you have a flat in, in, in Kololo, you even have another one in Muyenga, you have another one near Nakaselo. That man's story will change drastically. The change of this story happened the moment Jesus rose from the dead. Somebody shout hallelujah. And all the Old Testament prophets looked forward to that season. And this is what we are discussing. And there's a level which I want to bring to you now. Because part of what the enemy does is to make you hide, I mean to make you believe that that particular story is no longer relevant to you. That's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, I think verse 18, talks about the cross being, you know, a foolish thing to those who are perishing. And so the aim of the devil is to blindfold you. That the moment you hear about the cross, there's nothing much you can get. But today, I want us to paralyze the strong man. I want us to deal with this. Show them um, that scripture. We are going to read the scripture in Mark chapter 3. And in the Bible, especially if you can show NRSV, Mark chapter 3, uh, beginning from verse... Beginning from verse, uh, maybe from verse 20. There was a crowd, they were coming to Jesus. And uh, when the families heard about it, there's a story behind there and the scribes and all, they were always in arguments about Belzebu, where does he get power and all that. But verse 23, and he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. He said, how can Satan cast out Satan? And he went ahead and said, if a kingdom was divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. Verse 26, if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. Satanic forces over your life, their end has come. In the name of Jesus. But now verse 27, he said, but no one, say no one, can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first binding the strong man. The authority that Jesus exercised is meant to bind, is meant to block him, is meant to stop him from operating in your life. That authority is now with you, my friend. Is now with you. That's why Jesus said all authority, every other thing. I mean, it's not only the legality of it, including the uniform. So you can now stand and stop a trailer because you are a traffic policeman. When they ask you for ID, you bring out your ID and show them. You can tell the man to pack. You can tell the man to go. The stronger man needs to be bound in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. And there are powers and demonic forces that will target, especially when you are about to get into the area of breakthrough. They are there. And every time what they do is to look for an opportunity so that that day you are going to give birth, the day you are going to conceive if you don't have a child, the day you are going to, whatever it is, things go wrong. The day you are supposed to have the transaction. I think it was the other week, whenever somebody would be, you know, the first dream about an issue, after the dream, the next morning, that breakthrough is gone. That's what the stronger man does. That scripture I read to you in Mark chapter 3, the stronger man there is Satan himself. The stronger man is the principle of controlling power, demon. Over a family, it can be a place, it can be a person, it can be anything else. Controls that particular place. A strong man is that force that supervises problems, making sure that they're executed in your life. They are supervising it. They want to see the completion of the project that their grandfather, who is the father of lies, started. In Genesis chapter 3, they want to, you know, like how an engineer supervises a project. They go there. They go time and again to go and check. We have engineers there. 
they go and check. Okay, so this, no, this one, you do not do it very well. That's the aim of satanic forces to, to ensure, to sit there and be directing forces. For example, if it's going to be a place where you get, to be, get a breakthrough, you're going to be delivered, they will be there supervising, you don't get anything. But lift up your hand and say, Father, today, any strong man, any controller of demonic spirits upon my life, I use the authority of the blood of Jesus and bind him out of my life in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the power to overcome has been given to us. Why? Because greater is he that lives inside of me than the one that is in the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. So the strong man that is in charge of your case, be it, uh, you know, be it uh, you know, an issue of finances, each time you see oppression that is to do with finances is connected to all other things, including family, children in the house, and all kinds of things begin to go wrong. Accidents and diseases that are inherited. The issue is not that you have had a bad day. No. The issue is that there is a strong man in charge an agent of Satan. These are spirits. So whenever we are ministering and we are mentioning these things, people begin to say, but who is this strong man? Jesus said you cannot bind him unless, I mean, you cannot take away the goods unless you do what? Your job is to bind him. Your job is to do what? To bind him. Your job is to bind him and seize the goods. And that's what the children of Israel did. The Bible said that then the Lord told Moses that you shall plunder the Egyptians. Do you know that when they were going out, they asked of the Egyptians and they took away all. I asked the Lord, Lord, why is it that they asked? The word is asked. Then why did they take? Did they take without permission? The Lord said, whenever there is injustice, whenever the oppression is too much, God will balance that. Remember, justice and righteousness is the foundation of his throne. And whenever there's injustice, because they had been oppressed for 430 years, and all the time Moses and Aaron appeared before Pharaoh, Pharaoh would say, ah, I'm not ready. Oh, let them go alone. Oh, let them go with their this. They leave their children. The injustice is what God is punishing. And so the plundering of goods, what did God do is to bind to make sure that all the things that Pharaoh depended on were all paralyzed and then the children of Israel were free to live. Lift up your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, because I am born of God, every weapon the stronger man is using in my life, in my family, today I come out with weapons of warfare, not weapons that are carnal, but weapons that are mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. Somebody shout hallelujah. As we're going to begin to pray here, every program the stronger man had put in place for you, he shall be bound in the name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. Got a testimony of a lady that had had five miscarriages. Five, yeah, five miscarriages consistently. Same occurrence, same, same, same kind of occurrence. And, and these are not things that will just happen. So anyway, word of knowledge came out and there's a lady here and then the lady was brought. When the lady was brought, she was pregnant, and it was that same period with which the enemy comes to take away, to kill. The good news now is that after binding the strong man, the lady gave birth to a baby girl. And, 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 and she might be watching now. She sent this to my wife. I said, whenever God operates, the first thing that God does 
is to make sure that that particular thing that was controlling is first of all bound. When it is bound, you are now ready for a turn around. Help me and tap your neighbor and say, neighbor, when the thing is bound, you are ready for a turn around. Somebody shout hallelujah. And you're going to see it here. All the things that the enemy does are meant to promote that program of the stronger man. All of them. Don't think things just happen. This morning, the Lord gave me Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. I said, Lord, what is this? I hope I should be now claiming, you know, victory. Day 40 is appearing. The Lord said, no. The battle, some of the things you are going to see in the next two, three days, before you reach the 40th day, some of those things is because for our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh. This particular version had enemies. But our struggle is against what? The rulers. Is against what? The principalities. Is against what? The cosmic powers. And so some of you, as you draw closer to this season, maybe today something happened and it has not been happy. You have been moving very well. You've been praying. You know, you feel revelation, knowledge. And now tomorrow something happens. You say, oh, it's like I'm going back. Oh, my God. What is this now? You now get annoyed. No. That person that is doing the thing is not the main agenda. The issue is buying the powers that are responsible for that thing. Buying that power and the rest will be history. Please stand on your feet. We're going to pray now. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Come and change my destiny, my destiny today. Come and change my destiny, my destiny today. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Up your hand and declare your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, you are the
Every all eyes closed. I want you to put your hand upon your head as a sign. The first prayer thing we are going to do is to withdraw the control of that strong man over your life. It doesn't matter. It can be a covenant you entered into. It can be food that you were given to eat that is now propagating that particular challenge. It can be anything. Pray and say, I withdraw the control of the stronger man of from my life. I withdraw the control of the demonic power from my life, from my health, from my family, from my finances, from my womb, if you are a lady, from my reproductive system, from my bloodstream, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand again and say, by the authority of the blood of Jesus, every problem promoted and accelerated by the strong man, I declare it dead in the name of Jesus. Say, I take authority over every hand of Satan over my life over my health over my life in the name of Jesus I take authority over every hand of Satan against my children mm -hmm. if you have them mention them by name if you are a parent I take authority I take some of you came with them here I take authority over every problem over every power over every force of my children in the name of Jesus take authority in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say every inherited problem every covenant I entered into whether knowingly or unknowingly today I cut it off I denounce every association of wickedness say every power every witch every wizard in the shrine or whatever they are in association against my life hear the word of the Lord scatter now in the name of Jesus say every mention of my name in any place to manipulate my destiny I command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus put your hand again on the head we're going to pray now every all eyes closed don't look at your neighbor the power of God is going to begin to locate every particular person and the angels are here angelic forces these are hosts of angels they cut the swords every other thing that needs to be cut off is going to be cut off if it's a sickness it's going to be cut. you are not going back with it if it's captivity father thank you for your move lord god almighty by the power of the holy ghost i ask lord that you will now move every spirit of divination lord whatever powers that have hidden these ones from the waters the magical powers at the count of seven times let that force be broken every marine spirit now every other spirit of the forest every spirit of the dead every
every spirit of the dead, every spirit of the waters, be it Lake Victoria or everywhere, I command you to die. That's number one. I command you to die. That's number two. I command you to die. That's number three. I command you to die. That's number four. I command you to die. That's number five. I command you to die. That's number six. Yes, yes, yes. I command you to die. That's number seven. Let the forces of angels go forth. Remove the ropes. Yes, yes, it's happening, it's happening. Remove that rope. Disconnect that chain. Break that chain. Break that force. Break that covenant. Break that force. Break it over their lives. Break it over their destinies. Break it, break it. Remove it from their destinies. Remove that demonic rope. There's somebody, they tied a rope. It's made of, it's made of those traditional things. There's a rope that is made of, 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 of um, a particular back cloth. It's coming out, it's being cut off now. In a rope, there's a particular person is tied. You even dream about it. You have a rope, tie it, and then you go around in the dream. You go around in the dream, and when you wake up, you even feel where it was tied. That rope is being torn off now. It's being cut off now. That demonic rope is being cut off now. There's a particular person your own issue is the issue of the skin, the skin, the skin. And there are times you dream about a skin problem, you have wounds all over the place. You have wounds. When you wake up, you see no wound. The Lord is removing that reproach now. The Lord is cutting off, the Lord is healing you. If you have a sickness, the Lord is touching that particular, just touch that particular part. Then there's an angel that's going to begin to come and minister to you. Touch it. If it is a headache, if it is a stomach issue, if it is an issue of the veins, if it is an issue of the muscles, if it is an issue of inherited infirmity, the Lord is addressing it now. Rapakaya maso, lokonda, brikando ya maso, kapoya, tilimba kayanda. Yes, yes. Lord, begin the surgery. Surgery, surgery. The, 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 the surgery of breast. Somebody is having a pain on the right side of their breast. Lord, begin to touch and remove every fluid. Fluid that is not supposed to be there. Let it come out. Every other thing that is inside of you. Every strong man promoting sickness, we cut out its influence in the name of Jesus. Let the, 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 the fire of healing is coming upon you. Let that fire of healing sweep across these your people, sweep across them. Let it generate heat. Some of you, heat is coming upon your life. That particular heat is meant to work on the particular problem that the enemy has been promoting. Father, break! Align all the problems. Lord, align all the issues. Align them and remove them. Lord, if it's a problem, there's somebody with a problem of a spinal cord. You feel the pain of the back so strong. Those particular discs, they are discs the Lord is working on. Is aligning them, is bringing them into shape. Lord, will you overshadow? We rebuke every sickness, every power of the strong man. Let their story, these ones that are here, even online, let it change. We cut off that rope. We cut off. There is a person that you dreamt why they put you in a basin with water inside it. In a basin and with water inside it. 
and you sat there and you waited for somebody to come and lift you up. All the people were just passing. There is a hand of the Lord that is removing you from the. It is some kind of imprisonment. Every prison that anyone has been locked into, the prison that came from your birth, the prison that came because of initiation, the prison that came because of demonic incision, I command the prison doors to break. One. I command the prison doors to break. Two. I command the prison doors to break. Three. I command the prison doors to break. Four. I command the prison door to break. Five. Six. Seven. In the name of Jesus. I command that particular thing they put on your head. Every ash that was put on your head to shame you. We confront that force now. Loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. Every other thing that the enemy has put, everything that he has mounted, break now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, break, 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 break. We speak order in your life. We speak order in your destiny. We speak order in your life now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is doing his work. He's touching. He's touching. He's touching. When he touches you, you will not remain the same. He's restructuring. He's removing. He's removing nails. He's removing some of the things. The stronger man, he comes with establishments. He's removing things that empower him. He's removing things that promote that particular oppression and captivity. Lord, we take authority over every other interest in the area of finances. We take authority over business areas, in the area of their children, in the area of favor at work. We blind the force of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be freedom now. Freedom now. Freedom, freedom, freedom. We declare freedom upon these, your children. And Lord, above all, we break every satanic establishment. We bind the strong man now and command him to live completely in the name of Jesus. And we ask that the Holy Spirit to come forth. Every sickness was taken over. I declare you healed in the name of Jesus. And Lord, finally, we want to pray the anointing of the Spirit to reside in their lives. To break every form of captivity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.